Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand versus eggshell bins for an update. So I'm gonna start here in the sand bin. And I see a lot more sprouts today. A few worms hanging out on this um, paper as well. So, gosh, whatever we had in here that sprouted, it keeps, keeps sprouting and sprouting. Um, but I wanted to take a peek and see if we could spot any more cocoons today. But I'm seeing a lot of baby worms, which is awesome. A lot of, of little worms in here. This is the sand bin, so I'm encouraged by that. I'm gonna zoom in a little, my camera doesn't wanna focus. The sprouts are just mixed all throughout here. Lots of springtails. But if you remember, our um, banana peel was here in the middle that they were still working on. If I can find the any remnants of it. See a lot of the newspaper that we had added, but I'm not seeing much of the banana peel left at all. Looks like they've pretty much worked worked through it, but I'm gonna keep digging, make sure I'm not missing it. But they're definitely gonna need a feeding today. Not seeing any cocoons immediately but all of these um, baby worms, like that one right there, are really good indicators that everything is nice and healthy in here. So I couldn't be more pleased as far as that's concerned, but they definitely need, need some food. So we're gonna feed both the bins today. So I figure before I hop over to the eggshell bin, we will feed this one up. So let me get a little something, get a little bit of bedding, and we will, um, feed this bin up and then we'll take a peek at the eggshell bin and do the same. Okay. So I have this nice big container of shredded bedding. I'm going to do about half to each bin because these bins, I think they'll take off more if we are a little bit more generous with some of the bedding and the food. So that's a nice big pile there. It's gonna press it down a little bit. I'm gonna spread a teaspoon of sand. Okay. And I have some more banana peels today. It's just what I had that was easy to um, weigh out even portions for the worms. So, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this back up with castings. So I'm going to mound, mound it pretty, pretty heavily up over here because of course we know bananas attract other little pests. So you want to make sure it's covered nice and, and well. And I also have some water. The spin feels a little bit dry to me. So, um, I'm going to give about half of this container of water to each of these bins as well. Quite a bit of water, but it will soak in and it will um, spread throughout the bin and make sure it stays nice and, and moist for us so the worms can keep working. So hopefully that will be enough and I'll check back in if I need to add more, I can. So I'm just going to lay our newspaper cover back over the top. That also helps hold in the moisture. And I'm going to pop the lid back on here and we will go over and take a look at the eggshells. So let's take a look and see how the worms are doing in here. Hopefully they're doing similarly well. And I did do a once over um, through that sand bin and I did not see any cocoons. Of course, there have to be some in there because we're having lots of hatchlings, but um, I wasn't able to spot any. So we'll do the same thing in here. 
take a peek, see if we see any cocoons. Take a look at the worms. The castings, I mean, are absolutely beautiful. I think I said it before. I could take these out and use them just as is. They're perfect. Um, but for sake of this experiment, I'm not doing that. This is where a banana was before. You can see lots and lots of worms in here. So there's a cocoon, right? Oh, I thought it was, maybe not. Maybe not. But the material looks great. There's, again, a lot of baby worms in here as well. So um, we're definitely making progress. And I think feeding them some of these um, water and sugar-rich fruits definitely helps. The worms um, go crazy for it because the bacteria grows rather quickly. And so the microbes get to work very fast, which makes for... Um, just really good decomposition and um, when the worms are eating well they're reproducing well also so that was a cocoon it looks like looks like it might have hatched because it's empty but you can see some of these smaller worms those are relatively newborn but all in all it looks really nice in here as well Tons of sprouts again. I just find that very funny. And I honestly can't remember what we had put in here that could have sprouted, but nice rich compost will do that. It will sprout rather quickly for you. So I'm just going to mix this up a little bit, trying to prevent my arm from getting in front of the camera for you guys. But I mean, even all the way down in the bottom, it's not too wet. It's actually a little on the dry side, in my opinion, but certainly. Uh, moist enough that it's conducive for the worms to do well in but we'll clear out a spot over here just like we did in the other bin and there my arm goes in the way like I didn't want it to do sorry about that and let me add the rest of this bedding in here it's a lot of it and I'm gonna get a scoop of our eggshell, another teaspoon. Okay. And the rest of our banana. Cover it back up with all of these castings. Just gonna kind of level everything else out and then I'm going to add the rest of the water. Neither one of these lids had condensation on it today and like I said it does feel borderline dry to me so I want to make sure that especially with adding all of that bedding there's plenty of moisture so that the bins don't get too dry and the worms don't slow down. So I think that's going to be it for today guys. Please um, drop me comments below like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. I hope you have a great day.